Well, uh, one Bozeman Road construction project is done, but now there seems to be another problem. And it's got some residents squinting out their windows. MTN's Cody Boyer has the story. Well, that's right. You can easily see the new turn lanes here on Love Lane, hard at work, as well as the new stoplight over Huffine Lane. But in the same breath, you can also see eight new street lights or luminaires stretching down the east side of Love Lane itself. Those living nearby say these are making an unexpectedly bright problem. They didn't give us any reason why they wanted them. Orange cones that you used to see when you turn down Love Lane are gone. Instead, eight metal street lamps. Terry Trimster is one of several who didn't see them coming. What do you think of the lights? We don't we don't like the lights. Trimster says when the lights came on for the first time, everyone knew. They're about like a parking lot in a Walmart place or maybe brighter than that. Not quite as bright as a football field, but you could play football out here. Others say the same. Lights flooded into their homes brighter than expected. Pets were spooked. Others say they lost sleep. The main thing is they didn't tell anybody that they were going to, you know, have these bright lights up here. Another man who didn't want his face or voice on camera is concerned for a family of owls recently rehabilitated and released, nesting near his home. Terry's neighbor started a petition signed by nearly everyone in the stretch. According to the Department of Transportation, the street lights are meant simply for safety. But those living along the stretch that signed the petition argue that it's a bit much. We're working to fix it. I don't know if we got the answer yet, but we're working at it. Dwayne Leibel, MDT's pre-construction manager out of Butte, agrees this was an unforeseen problem. The reason we went back as far as we did is so we could get the traffic into the right lanes when they get to the, to the signal. Leibel adds that the petition was an eye-opener. There are now a couple of options on the table. It's very important. It's all hands on deck for this one. Either way, Trimster and others hope the light gets dampened soon. It makes a lot better relations. Ships if you got if you tell them and maybe ask us. Liable says contractors are looking into using a variety of options to try to harness the light, stopping it from going further into the road, possibly dimming it using shields. While they do not know just yet when those shields will be up, again, those options are something they are looking into. In Bozeman, Cody Boyer, MTN News.